Yeah, what's up community? It's Ash Rock. So a super quick intro. The top 50 list is here. I, I printed this out from Wikipedia, chose my figures. Uh, here I got the, some of the names highlighted and stuff like that. But uh, the actual numbering is on an Excel spreadsheet. So stay tuned to those videos. It starts in January. I will start pumping them out uh, one at a time. Probably one every two weeks or one every month uh, until we are down to number one. So stay tuned. And again, everything is going to be completely objective, guys. Uh, I, I reviewed everything objectively. So there's no you know, favoritism. It's no, I chose this figure because the character is awesome. None of that bullshit. So for instance, Jubilee. Yeah, she's not on the fucking list. Okay? It's a terrible figure. All right? But anyways, we're not going to get into all that. Here is. Let, let, let's, let's get to the top 10 my top 10 figures of 2013. Play that funky intro. Ashra. 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 Uh -huh. You hear me, motherfucker. That's crispy. What is up, community? It's Ash Rock. Welcome to my top 10 of 2013 video. So, uh, before we get to the top 10, we're going to go through the runner-ups, and one of them is in front of you right now. And keep in mind, these are my opinions, guys. If you don't agree, then make your own damn video. But this is what I think were the top 10 of 2013. Number two, uh, I didn't buy every single awesome figure. So I didn't buy maybe that awesome, great Transformer figure that came out. I'm not a big Transformer guy or a big uh, G.I. Joe guy or whatever, like and any figure that, you know, th this is what I pretty much bought within my budget and what I thought was the greatest of 2013. So here are the runner-ups. So right in front of you, you got one of them, Mr. Rhino from the Marvel Universe line. So a very cool, cool figure with a, utilizing a new mold. Lackluster in articulation, but still a very, very neat figure, man. So, uh, you know, unfortunately a runner-up, but still a really, really neat figure. The next runner-up is the Marvel Universe Omega Red. I was looking forward to this figure from the beginning of Marvel Universe, and this is a really, really cool figure, but unfortunately, the top 10, it is not. I just did like a Yoda thing, you saw that? Um, <laughs> he, he's still a really neat figure, obviously. I, I did review him, and I know a lot of you love this figure. Um, but again, to me, with what I have in my top 10 list, it just, he does not meet that criteria. And, um, but nonetheless, uh, awesome figure for 2013 and a welcome addition to the Marvel Universe collection. Awesome, awesome stuff. Another runner up is Monster Arts King Kong figure. I love this figure with all my heart, I really do, but unfortunately the only thing that, that kind of took me away from this figure is the scale. I expected it to be a little bigger. I actually have him standing next to uh, my Rise of the Planet of the Ape figures, my Caesar and I forget the other guy's name, Co Koba? Co Cuba? Koba? Um, and he looks much more fitting there. He looks like the big gorilla from the movie uh, instead of King Kong, but we all know it is King Kong. Uh, very, very well in articulation. Awesome accessories. He's got two, uh, three different head sculpts. Um, he's got <clears throat> a little Jane figure that he comes with that's in one of his hands. He's got multiple hands. Just a really, really cool fig figure all around, but fortunately not in the top 10 this year. Sorry. Another runner up, Mr. Darth Maul. What? Yeah, most people are going to probably have him in their top 10. I do not have him in my top 10. I think this is a really cool figure, but I think it's a little overrated. Um, and, and maybe it's not just so much the figure itself, but it can be a little bit of the character, and I, I don't know, I, but I like the figure a lot, don't get me wrong, it does come with two different head sculpts, so this cape hole, this whole thing gets removed, you got another head sculpt with where you can see the spikes on his head and all that good stuff, but I wasn't over the top impressed by this, I, there was other Star Wars figures, which you'll see in the top 10, that I was far more impressed than this figure here, but still a really, really cool addition, by the way, don't get this near uh, Ra, because he'll burn the son of a bitch. It's an inside joke. But uh, yeah, it's still a really, really cool figure. And it should be in everybody's collection. Another runner-up is the Night Storm Predators. So this year, I really started collecting Predators. I had a couple Predators before. But as I started expanding to new collection, because Marvel Universe going away, I got into Predators Hardcore. I got about probably 15 of them by now. I got the, uh, the trophy room and everything like that. Um, I've always adored these things. I just never had a chance to really get into them. But this one here is one of the best of 2013. Um... A uh, runner-up, but still one of the best. I, I think it's the, the paint detail on this bad boy, the, the amount of 
craftsmanship that NECA puts into their work, when it comes to their predators, they really, really treat their predator line with so much respect and dignity, man, because they know people are buying these things up. And this, this one here is just fucking cool. I mean, look at this thing. The paint details, the, the sculpt on it, um, just all around screams badass and uh, definitely, definitely awesome figure. So if you're into Predators, you have to cop this one here. And the last runner up is this Dutch figure. Now, there have been a lot of Dutch figures that came out this year. As a matter of fact, there's five. The most recent one came out in a two-pack with another Predator. Uh, it's like the unmasked version of a Predator figure that's kind of bleeding. It's towards the end of the movie pretty much. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is pretty much naked in this pic in this figure, but whatever. Um, but this Dutch figure out of all of them, this one I like the most. I thought there were some really cool ones. I know there's still more to come out. I think there's a there's a night vision one that's kind of like green and whatever. Like, uh, and then there's a deluxe one. I believe like a one fourth size one or something crazy like that. But this one here I thought was the coolest. This is from the beginning of the movie more where. Um, he he gets to the 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 the, the uh, forest and he's he's just you know he's got a cigar in his mouth and he's kind of just chilling. This is before they even know what the hell's about to happen to them. But uh, I love this figure a lot. I think it looks really really cool. If you're a big Arnold fan, if you're a big Predator fan, I don't know how you don't like those movies. I highly recommend getting at least this one here. But there are a couple other cool ones. But this one is my favorite Dutch figure out of all of them. So let's move on. To the top 10 of 2013. Number 10 is MathX Batman. The MathX released two uh, main figures this year. I believe they might have released more, but I'm not sure. But I know they released a Amazing Spider-Man figure and then this Dark Knight figure. I believe this is from the Dark Knight Returns, but I could be wrong. Um, Really, really cool figure, man, for an import. I mean, there's a bunch of imports on this list, and this is one of my favorite ones. Um, my only gripe with this figure is a bit of the, the joints. They are very, very sensitive. If you guys have any import figures, you know they can be sensitive at times. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice and patience to really learn how to maneuver their joints and articulation and things of that nature. But this figure came out really, really cool. Um, I recommend this figure. There's been a ton of, obviously, Dark Knight figures. But this one's probably the best one. Um, very, very well crafted, detailed. The cape is a real cape. You know, it's real material. Uh, it would be, it would've been really cool if it had like articulation in it, maybe some kind of wiring to really give it different posability options. But uh, still, really, really cool. I mean, articulation all around is, is immaculate on this thing. Um, I highly recommend it. It'll probably cost about fifty or sixty bucks. But that is number ten. Let's go to number nine. The number nine figure of 2013 for me is The Undertaker. Yes, The Undertaker. So this year I started also collecting my elite figures. I'm up to, I think about 50 of them. Mostly the classic characters, the flashback series, some of the, a lot of the legends, but all elite. Um, and I do have some of the newer stuff and I am getting into some of the newer characters, even though I've been watching wrestling in years. But this is where wrestling was in its golden age as far as I'm concerned. It really was, man. Those, you know, the 80s and the, into the 90s, it, it was just amazing, man. And this character right here, Mr. Undertaker himself, is probably, I mean, if you're a wrestling fan or if you were a wrestling fan and he wasn't in your top five, you got an issue. Awesome, awesome figure. Awesome character all around. And, and when this thing was announced and when I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to have this. And um, I love it, man. The, the purple that came out, really, really nice. The tie on him. He's got the removable hat. Really, really cool figure, man. And, and, and a welcomed addition to the WWE Elite Series and a welcome addition of my collection. So that is number nine. Number eight on my list is Mr. Han Solo. He is part of the Star Wars Black series by Hasbro, and he was released in the most recent wave that came with uh, Princess Leia, Guido, and Boba Fett. And this figure is great, man. Comes with two different belts. Um, the likeliness of the, the character, the face himself itself is just awesome. I love it a lot. Um, but the simplicity of this figure is really what makes it for me. I mean, they didn't go over the top with the shading. They didn't do nothing crazy. Um, but the likeliness of the character, the uh, articulation is really cool. You got some ankle rockers there, two different belts. Again, like I said, and then 
just just the fact that we got some six inch Star Wars figures in effect, and this guy here um, is is definitely in my top ten for the year. A little bit of lackluster in the articulation for the elbows, you know, being single jointed. Um, but everything else on him, you know, is, is to me, uh, screams awesome and screams nostalgic, really. That's what a lot of collecting comes down to. And a lot of my figures in my list have that nostalgic feel like The Undertaker and like this guy right here, just being a big Star Wars geek. And um, I love him, man. I really do. I highly recommend it if you're a Star Wars fan. So go get your Han Solo. Let's move on. Number seven on the list is... Marvel Select Venom. This is by far the coolest looking Venom I've ever seen. I had the Legends one back in the day. I had a couple of the, the you know, different, you know, uh, from Marvel Showdown. I've had whatever. This one is by far the coolest. S Marvel Select Diamond in general, uh, who makes Mini Mates and they make Marvel Select, they have really stepped up their game with Marvel Select over the years. And this year has really shown it. You know, maybe another runner-up could have been that Wolverine from the uh, Wolverine movie. But this one here just screams badass. I mean, I have this on one of my detoffs upstairs in my office. Every time somebody walks in there and sees it, like, that is a fucking awesome Venom. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, this part here on top, I'm not going to touch it because he'll fall over. He's very top-heavy. Um, similar to your mama. <laughs> Boob jokes. But... This is a very, very top-heavy figure, and the, this is removable. He's got different hands. He's got just great articulation. This is where Select really started stepping up their game. I believe it comes with three different head sculpts, uh, three different heads, you know, head swap. Um, badass all around. He's a big-ass figure, too. He stands over eight inches tall, but he just looks really, really cool, man. I don't care about scale. This is a fucking awesome figure, so... If you don't have this in your collection, or if you're a Venom fan, you gotta have this in your collection. So, number seven on my list, hands down, badass. Let's move on. Number six on my list is the Marvel Legends Archangel. Now, the first Archangel that came out was in a three three pack, uh, an X Force three pack for a San, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this figure though was released uh, earlier this year. Um, in a single carded version, and it is amazing. I started collecting Legends again uh, in the middle of last year, <clears throat> mostly buying my X-Men characters. I had a lot of Legends back in the day. You guys know I got rid of them because of financial reasons way back when, and uh, I started buying them again. But I had to get this one. Big ups to Tony B for hooking me up with this one here. I love this thing, man. Uh, the, the sheer amount of detail is just awesome. I know the wings on the... Um, the San Diego exclusive uh, is the shiny finish. Here you have the more dull finish, which is still fine. It's not a big deal. But overall, the, the, the likeliness of the character, the, the amazing paint apps. He's always been one of my favorite characters. Um, he's always been kind of like, he's kind of always like been like a kind of a badass too. Um, similar to Wolverine, but obviously his mind was corrupted by Apocalypse, which makes him... You know why he gets a little nutty every now and then. I uh, refer to the Dark Angel saga of Uncanny X Force if you want a really good read. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm digressing. But the figure is is just great. The the the, the detail and the craftsmanship and the wings. Uh, these wings are very very uh, uh, similar to the Marvel Universe one. Uh, same exact wings almost, but obviously on a larger scale. But they do wrap around them and everything like that. And just it. it I don't know, man. This is badass, man. If you guys don't have this, if you're if you're a big X Men fan, you gotta have this in your collection. I highly recommend it. So that is my number six. Let us move on. Number five is another Black Series figure. This is the Star Wars Sand Trooper. Now, my personal favorite from that first wave that came out, the first part is this figure here. You had Darth Maul, R two D two, and Luke Skywalker. But this one to me was the best one, best paint applications, most accessories, best articulation, by far, in my opinion, the best one in all of them. And I am a big army builder guy. I Well, not huge on it. I usually stop at five just because after that, I feel like I'm going to fucking go overboard. And I have over the years where I bought so much shit. But this thing just screams classic Star Wars. If you're a Star Wars fan of the original trilogy, the only trilogy that fucking counts... Sorry, uh, this has to be in your collection. I mean, look at the, the sheer amount of paint detail. You can tell he's been in the sand. He's got a little, he's a little 
dirty and crusty all over and, and that's what kind of gives it its uniqueness that's what gives it its its charm he comes with one two three different guns so there's a third one on the back it comes with his backpack just an amazing figure and you know the articulation is, is, is immaculate double jointed elbows uh, which not really a lot of the figures in this this series has had yet is uh, you know he's only the only ones um, but Great, great figure. If you're a fan of Star Wars, if you're a fan of Sixions uh, collections, I recommend it. I, I couldn't wait, matter of fact, for the Sixions to come out. I, I got so sick of the three and three fourth inch that I got rid of my three and three fourth inch uh, earlier this year. I just couldn't do it anymore. I was just fed up with. I think it's because they oversaturated the market with so many of them that when the six inch figures started coming out, I was very, very excited for something new. And even though I'm pretty sure within two years. We're going to see the same stuff reboxed over and over again, and then I might lose interest again. But as of right now, this figure's awesome. Buy it. Buy a bunch of them. They're just great, great looking figures, All especially when you have like a bunch of them standing next to each other. It looks really cool. So there you go. Let's move on. Number four is SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark VI. Now, this figure came out earlier this year again. It's an import figure, but it is badass. A lot of detail, a lot of craftsmanship. These figures, a lot of the imports that I showed you guys, like the King Kong, and, and I got a couple more coming up, a little more expensive, you guys. You guys know that, uh, but you pay for quality over quantity. You really do. You're paying for better uh, articulation, better uh, uh, craftsmanship. I think that word is not used a lot when talking about molds, when talking about... Um, the way a figure looks and how much work is put into a figure. You know, usually when I see like stuff like from Hasbro or some of these other companies, it seems very kind of copy paste. Whereas with a lot of the import stuff, I seem to see a little bit more craftsmanship and fine detail put into it. Detail like this, like these little flaps on the arms, um, you know, the, the simplicity and yet complex uh, look of this figure is really awesome. Now, similar to other imports, very sensitive joints, but at the same time, when you open up this figure for some reason, when I opened this up, and I remember telling Juan about this, one of my buddies, John Canna, um, I said straight up, like, they, they, they feel like they've already been broken in. You know when you usually buy a figure, you got to kind of work the joints and whatever. But this one here, right out of the packaging, it felt like it was ready. It, it felt like this was made for collectors by a collector. It really does. And it's a very heavy figure, too. It's, it's, got, it's got some weight to it, you know, which is really neat and gives it uh, a lot better balance overall. Highly recommended if you're an Iron Man fan. You know, I'm not the biggest Iron Man fan. I'm really not, but... When you're talking about the figures that came out this year, and if this one's not in your top 10, uh, if you don't own it or you haven't tried it, you can't really knock it until you do. I think it's well worth the, the, the price of admission getting this figure, um, but it's up to you at the end of the day if you can afford something like that. But, you know, I've said it before, if, if you can buy four decent figures or one badass figure, I go with the one badass figure. That's just the way I think. Um, and, and this one is in the top 10. Matter of fact, he is number four. So let's move on. Number three on the list is the SH Figure Arts War Machine based off the Iron Man 2 movie. Um, so it is obviously a movie figure, not a comic figure, but still really, really neat. I love movie figures. I know some people bitch about movie figures, but if it's a great movie, I'm going to buy the figure. Now, reverse that on this, however, War Machine was not the most memorable character in the Iron Man movies. I mean, Iron Man 2, he was pretty badass. The last scene with the with the showdown and everything, I thought was pretty cool. But Part 3, which is one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen, he just he was like obsolete. Like, he didn't even matter in that movie. I don't even know why he was in it. It's a god-awful movie. If you've seen Part 3 and you enjoy it, just please unsubscribe to me now. Um... And uh, just leave me alone. I just I just don't want nothing to do with you. If I ever see your face, I'm going to be mad, okay? But anyways, back on to the figure here. I went on a quick tangent there. <laughs> I was kind of... Got a little violent there for a second. But this is an awesome figure, man. The detail on it, the again, similar to the Iron Man, very, very heavy. Um, uh, very well crafted all over, man. This thing just screams collector. Just It just screams it, dude. It screams, COLLECTOR! You know, it just screams it. Um, but... 
That was stupid. Um, I highly recommend it if you're a big Iron Man fan um, or if you're just a big fan of uh, great figures. This has to be in your collection. A, a lot of, again, a lot of craftsmanship, a lot of detail. Comes with extra hands, similar to the Iron Man. Similar to pretty much every import out there. Comes with extra hands. Comes with uh, just a bunch of blast effects and flight stands. I mean, this thing is just... Just badass all around. A lot of a lot of well, just a lot of work went into this man. And, and, and as a collector, you could really really appreciate that uh, wholeheartedly. So, I recommend it. Big Iron Man. Uh, if you're a big War Machine fan, uh, buy this damn figure. So yeah, let's move on. Number two, Boba Fett. So this figure came out originally in the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive this year. It was going for crazy prices on eBay, which really, really upset me, and I, you know. But at the same time, whenever there's a, an exclusive figure that comes out, chances are they're going to come out with it in a single wave. And Hasbro does that a lot. Uh, when they do reissue the figure, more often than not, it might have something uh, less than the exclusive had. For instance, the exclusive has the Han Solo and Carbonite. This one does not come with that, but that that actually the hand solo on carbonite is very accessible. There are tons of copies out there and people who've made them, and you can get them for dirt cheap, so it's not a big deal. Um, but then it was reissued, and I got lucky. I lucked out on Amazon. It was like a this is probably about two or three weeks ago, and it was like twenty one dollars shipped, and that's pretty much how much it costs in the store. So I just bloop, I just pulled the trigger right away. I didn't even think about it. I, I had to get my Boba Fett, and I'm really really glad I'm di I, I did. Now, this character, obviously, uh, was in the original trilogy, the only trilogy that counts, remember that? But, <clears throat> nonetheless, uh, uh, great, great character. Not so much from the movies. Now, in the movies, he was popular, but he was probably far more popular uh, um, because of uh, uh, the comic books and the, gra and, and, the, and the novels. He's very, very popular. So, I read a couple things with him uh, featured in comic books and uh, uh, the novels, and I absolutely love this character. He's very, very dynamic. Uh, he's got the very, very uh, I don't give a shit type of personality. He's just he's he's in it to to get paid pretty much. He's a bounty hunter, obviously. So that's all that really matters. And the fact that he caught one of the the most you know most sought after uh, people in, in the galaxy, which was uh, uh, Han Solo, made him s so much more popular in my book. Now, besides the popularity of the character, or how much I enjoy the character himself, and how villainous he is. I really, really enjoy this figure a lot. A lot of detail, a lot of paint detail, the scruffle on the mask, you know, similar to the movie. Um, and I, I think that's another thing that makes him so popular is like he's not this clean cut, like, you know, stormtrooper type of guy, even though in the new trilogy, they pretty much are telling us that he, he was a stormtrooper and blah, 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 whatever. But oh, he's a clone stupid but a lot of detail into this figure a lot of paint some of the stuff that does suck is the single jointed elbows that kind of does stink up the joint but uh, he does have ankle rockers he does have double jointed knees um uh but overall a, a great character and a great figure man it comes with a little jet pack his little cape um if you're a big boba fett fan and i don't know how you're not i think that you have to have this in your collection um, as much as people sweat the Darth Maul figure, this is the figure they should be sweating. Great, great, great work by Hasbro. And, and it's hard for me to say that because uh, I've, I've started to drift away from Hasbro. But they, uh, they've, they've been doing some justice with this Black Series so far. And I hope they continue to do that. So, amazing job, amazing figure. If you find it, please buy it. Just, just super cool. So, let's move on to numero uno. And number one is the Rebel Tech, Iron Man Mark I. Again, this is my video. These are my top 10. You don't have to agree. That's fine. But me personally, something about this figure just drove me nuts. And I first saw it online. I saw a picture of it. Then I saw a review on it by uh, my, my good friend Todd uh, Rectangular. Uh, and then I decided to buy it, and then I decided to review it myself, and I was glad I bought it. It was one of those when I opened it, I was on the phone with my girl at the time, and we're sitting there talking, and I'm just like, she's like, I was I was going silent at for long periods of time. She's like, are you there? And it, it was just because I was so intrigued by it. it. I don't know what it is about this this costume, 
but I love this figure, man. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously this is from the movie, um, but the, the sheer amount of craftsmanship, the molding, the detail, the paint, the articulation, the fact that he, he does come with uh, another set of hands, he does come with some blast effects as well, um, but overall this figure, what it, what it does have, let me adjust my camera a little bit, sorry about that, um, what it does have is, is just it stands out, man. You put this on your shelf, it just looks unique. It has just this, to me, this charm. Um, I mean, just look at all that detail, man. You know, I don't know how you cannot appreciate that. And you know, and, and what I like about this 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 figure or this character or this costume or, or this armor, or whatever you want to call it, um, is the fact that it looks like it was made in a garage. You know what I'm saying? It has that kind of charm to me, where it just like he just kind of put it together. He was trying to escape it, the, the the situation he was in, um, and 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 this is what he made, you know. This is something he just like a makeshift Iron Man, but that's what makes it cool. It's dirty, it's grimy, it's unique, it's it's creative, um, and and they they paid they they paid a lot of attention to the movie, and they were able to replicate that. Now I know the the, the best one ever is always going to be the uh, uh, what the hell is it called the Hot Toys one. Obviously, the detail on that is probably way above anything, but I'm not trying to pay $300 for a fucking toy um, or a doll with hot toys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. Most of them are fucking dolls. But uh, for me, this here is, um, I, I don't know. This is my favorite figure of 2013. I love it. Uh, again, I mean, look at that. Just the scruffling on the boots. Come on, man. That is just this, so much work was put into this. Uh, kudos to you, Rebel Tech, for putting together an amazing figure. And uh, my favorite figure of 2013, believe it or not. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish I would have done this the last uh, two years. I know a lot of people asked for me to do it, but I'm doing it now. Now stay tuned to some more videos. I got some more reviews coming up. And then obviously uh, uh, January I will have... Uh, the, the top uh, 50 Marvel Universe kicked off uh, with 50 to no number 50 to 41, and then we'll go from there. So stay tuned to that. It's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of fun with it uh, for Marvel Universe. And I uh, just wanted to wish, uh, you know, really quick before I sign off, I want to wish all of you and your family, uh, uh, my friends, uh, everybody out there that subscribes and watches my video and supports me. Uh, I love you all very much. I want to wish you guys all a very happy holidays to, to you and yours. Please be safe. Uh, happy New Year's if I don't make a new video before then. Um, and just, just enjoy it, man. Be safe and be thankful for everything that you have. And uh, um, try to appreciate those little things in life, okay? so And as always, remember to laugh every day. Love you all. Take it easy. Peace.